In this video, I'm gonna cover how to work with routes. So right now in this app.js file, I have this route right here, which is fine. But if you have many routes, it's gonna get cluttered up and it's not a good idea to have routes like this. So instead I'm gonna have the routes in the routes folder right here. So now I need to set that up. And to do that, I'm going to create a route in the routes folder. And if you're coming from some other MVC background, you can think of this routes folder as controllers, basically. So inside of that, I'm going to create a JS file and I'm going to call it pages. And in here, I need to include express. So I'm going to save our express is going to be equal to require express. And I also need the express router. So var router is going to be equal to express router. This is supposed to be capital R like so. And at the end of the script, I'm going to say exports here. And I'm going to say here module dot exports equals router. And this is supposed to be capital R. Okay. So this is the setup that's required. And now instead of having this route here, I can copy this and paste it here. But now instead of saying app.get, I'm going to say router.get. And in here, I'm going to get rid of the route. And I'm going to have a comment here and say set routes. And I'm going to have a var called pages here. And I'm going to require the routes folder and pages.js. And then here, after that, I'm going to say app.use. And I'm going to say slash here, so the root or the index, and use pages. So whenever I hit the root, I'm going to actually be taken to pages.js and then to this route right here. So now if I refresh, there's no difference, it still works. And I'm also gonna create a route for the admin area as well. So in app.js, I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna call the variable admin pages with a capital P. And that's gonna require routes slash admin underscore pages js and i'm going to create that file here so that's going to be admin underscore pages and in here i again need this of course so this is needed in every route file but here i'm gonna uh, copy this and before slash pages i want to check first if the route is slash admin slash pages and if it is then i'm gonna use this admin pages route so now in admin pages if i point to slash i'm actually pointing to slash admin slash pages okay and if I have something else here, such as test, for example, then that would point to slash admin slash pages slash test. So anyway, just to test this, I'm going to just rest send here and say admin area here. And the server is restarting. So if I go to slash admin slash pages, I see the same thing for some reason. Let's see what I did wrong. Oh, I uh, changed the pages JS file instead of admin. Let me just have that here and this in here. Okay. And if I refresh, here it is. So it works. And if I, for example, say here, test slash test so this page is js 
I can resend here pages test. And if I do the same in admin pages and say here admin test, so the boy they both point to slash test, but in the pages case, because just the slash or the root is the default for pages, it's gonna be slash test. So domain slash test and for admin it's gonna be admin slash pages slash test. So if I go just to slash test here, I get pages test. And if I go to slash admin slash pages slash test, I get admin test. Okay. I'm just going to get rid of these test routes. And that's it for this video.